Award for Best Foreign Language Film at the 1957 Oscars ceremony. We're delighted to be partnering with the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in this event, which is the first in our Seven Wonders of World Cinema season to mark the 60th anniversary of the Best Foreign Language Film Award. Over the next eight weeks here at Curzon Bloomsbury and also at Curzon Soho on Shaftesbury Avenue, uh, we screen a winning film from each decade the foreign language Oscar has been awarded. The season continues next week uh, here at Curzon Bloomsbury with uh, Fellini's Eight and a Half, uh, and then uh, we follow that with The Tin Drum, Babette's Feast, All About My Mother, and The Secret in Their Eyes, and some of those will be at our Very uh, Soho cinema. Uh, and it won the, the Silver Lion at Venice, which created such a fury that um, there, was fisti there were fisticuffs between the supporters and uh, detractors of the film. And, um, uh, but after several years, in retrospect, the, um, the critics uh, decided that it was much better than they had originally thought. Um, and in fact, uh, recently, um, a lot of critics feel that th this film, La Strada, is the high point of Fellini's career and um, has become one of the most influential films of all time. It's a very subjective judgment, I know, but um, that's what I think, anyway. Um, a lot of filmmakers have, um, recent filmmakers, have put it on their list of top, top 10 films. Marty Scorsese financed a, uh, a, um, a remastered print a while ago, and um, he said that he used a lot of the uh, elements of um, Anthony Quinn's strongman, uh, the, the kind of self-destructive self brute character in um, both Taxi Driver and uh, Raging Bull. So as, uh, as was said before, uh, Estrada won the first official uh, foreign film Oscar after that category was established. Before that, all of the uh, foreign film Oscars were honorary. Um, Fellini would go on to, w or Fellini's films would go on to win three more foreign film Oscars um, throughout the years, and he personally was nominated for 12 nominations in writing and directing, and eventually received an honorary Oscar in 1993. So I'd just like to read you two quotes from Fellini. He called La Strada a complete catalog of my entire mythological world, a dangerous representation of my identity that was undertaken with no precedent whatsoever. And uh, a while later, he said his key influences were Carl Jung, Roth Rossellini, Boonwell, Chaplin, Eisenstein, Buster Keaton, Laurel and Hardy, and the Marx Brothers. So, <laughs> I'd like to introduce you now to Meredith Shea, the Academy's Membership and Awards Manager for Foreign Film Selection. Thank you, well, um, thank you so much for having us here. It's so nice to see this many people to come and see a foreign language film when the weather is so nice outside. So um, I'm here from Los Angeles, and I administer the category there for the Academy. And the inception of this award basically stems from the fact that they kept getting more and more good foreign language films throughout the years. So when it started in 1956, there were only eight official submissions. And now, this past year for the 2016 Oscars, we had 85 official submissions. And we have over 100 approved selection committees from countries all over the world. And this past year, the salesmen you know, made history for a lot of different reasons. So we are really excited to be working with Michael and Chrisone. Thank you to Carola and Lisa for all their hard work, and I hope you guys enjoy the film. Thank you. Thanks very much, and ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to add that there is going to be a uh, reception after the after the film in the main bar uh, on the on the ground floor. So if you'd like to uh, join the reception, uh, feel free. Uh, I hope you enjoy the film. Thank you very much.